Hey folks, welcome to the last round of this Blue Red Quark Delver League. Uh, we're on the draw. Uh, let's see, we have a basic island and no red mana. But we do have a preordain to dig for some stuff. Uh, our opponent is going to 6. Once again, I'm always a bit more likely uh, to play against combo, I think, if they're uh, going down. But Wasteland also becomes better if they're going to lower on cards. Um, I think this isn't a great hand, but I'm, I'm going to keep it. I just like keeping hands. And Pure Dane is just going to get us a red. We're going to play against a fair deck. They're not going to remove our stuff. And we're going to have a nice hand. Like, everything will go right. Ooh, if that's an Eater Vial, that's annoying. Um, yeah, I think I do want to just preordain here. Hope to find a red fetch. We didn't. Um, these cards aren't terrible. I don't think keeping a Delver is correct here, since we have creatures, but we don't just want mana for it. The days is interesting. Um, but I don't think it's good enough to keep here. So there's the scouting turn we wanted. And the thing with the daze is it puts us so far back against their vial. Like if they play a two drop and we want to daze it, I mean, we could be very happy with dazing uh, one of their two drops. But uh, there's just so many cards that it's not worth it to put ourselves back. Uh, here I'm definitely just uh, gonna run out one of my red cards. I don't want to chain lightning this because I have the Karakas. Um, of course, they can start protecting it from next turn on, but I think it's just more important to get my red mana out and start with Dreadord. There's small consideration there to just wasteland their Karakas, hope they don't have white, and then go from there with the Dreadord. Because the decks are relatively short on white sources, I always feel. Um, and then running out the Karakas in turn 2 is the indication that they might not have another. Um, that being said, I just think that um, we're so falling so far behind on tempo here that I don't think it's worth it. And of course we're going to get super punished for it, but that's okay. Mm. Here, I think I do want to wasteland the carcass. Uh, just so if they have Stoneforge Mystic, I want to get them down on lands. I hope to also get to wasteland that one. Um, and now the question is, do we kill the Talia or wait to bounce it later and just run out the croc? I think it's fine to try and get the... Like, our mana really isn't set up well for Krog, but um, there's a decent chance that game this game goes long before it's over. So, and then I like just trying to double up on mana. This is probably a Stoneforge Mystic then, yeah. So let's hope they don't find a second land. We wasteland them off this and then the Stoneforge Mystic doesn't do that much for the coming round of turns. Of course, if they do have a land, like if they have a second Karakas in hand, then uh, it's going to be a rough game. But I think this is our out. Our out is them not having the second land. Yeah, that gets in. So yeah, th th this is the way we can uh, try and win this game. Um, I want to try to wasteland around uh, Flick Wisp. So what I'm going to do well, is make a mistake. I really want to, wanted to wasteland there. It was a mistake. I was like thinking like I really want to double spell here, but I don't think that's good enough. Anyway, I think now that I've done this, I'm pretty committed to bouncing this. Um, and I want to cast a ponder now. Doubling it up, that's nice. 
Uh, we definitely want more colored sources, right? No, we already drew the Misty Rainforest. So. No, I'm going to shuffle this. We find a brainstorm and a daze in a force of will. I think I like the daze, but it means I have to draw both the daze and the force of will. Um, the question is, are we beating the eater vial? I guess. <laughs> um, Yeah, I think this gives us enough tempo, and that's mostly what we need in this game. So, I think that's fine. Uh, now the question is, do I try to get them by attacking with Quark? But I, I think we get punished too hard if we miss on the flip. So I just want to have them use their interval on the end step. They didn't, so they are likely not to have a true drop. Um, Is it going up to four? I think I like trying to lightning bolt here because of how bad it is for us if they do find the uh, the land. And yes, they could have had the flicker but not used it. But just like the most likely case. But I, I still think I want to try this. I'm just gonna point this at them. Now we could really get punished for not having the uh, not having wasteland at last turn, but so if this is just a Talia, that's that's very good for us. Yeah. So we have the Caracas and everything like that. So yeah, I'm definitely just gonna do this. I think it's fine to start attacking into the Eater Vial now. Our opponent is thinking about something. I, I'm really wondering what their hand is, since it isn't Flicker Wisp. It's just, it's just a bunch of Talias and a better skill there now. Hmm. Could be. Anyway, I think I start with brainstorming here. Let's try and, and extract the value from my Quark. Oh, I lost a flip. So unlucky. No, I'm definitely waste landing here. And getting in here with the Quark. I think I w I'm f happy trading this with any of their three jobs. So. At uh, this point. Like I'm pretty sure they don't have a flick wisp. Uh, Recruit of the Guard wouldn't trade with it. And uh, Sanctum Predate. I'm very happy to, to be able to trade there. So. So now I start with my brainstorm again, see if we hit with that. We did. Let's get our value here. Don't really want another Krark. But I think force of negation is worse. So I'm gonna do it like this. Um, oh, I should have played a uh, fetch land before casting the brainstorm since doubling it up and uh, on it gets a lot better if we do have that in play. And I don't think the wasteland is super important here. Uh, now I think I'm going to keep the force of negation around. But I really wanted to see fresh cards there. And now I didn't. So that's kind of rough. I'm just going to fetch here. And get in there with the Krog. So not seeing new cards with the second brainstorm there has also made it a lot more likely for us not to hit any cantrips. So yeah, that was a really uh, great way to get punished. So did they top deck a recruiter? Yeah, that's pretty good for them. So now they get to recruiter, flick wisp, and all that kind of good stuff. Skyclave. 
I th think they should have gotten a flick of wisp there. Second file. Yeah, I don't like that going on too, so I'm just gonna try and counter that. So the question is, do I want this Quark or do I want to extract a 2-2 from their Skyclave? Uh, since I have the second Quark. Mm. No, I think it's better just to bounce it here. And now this works out perfectly, since now if we lose the flip, um, we return the days to our hand and then hard cast the days and for sure resolve it. So that I don't think that was a good timing on their part. Is now we like if we lost it, we just use two mana and days the file anyway. I think it's interesting there if you let them uh, exile the Quark or not. But I think, as is, um, I'm fine with tapping the Caracas here. Since that gives us more mana for the chain lightning if we fill in the flip. And I do like trying to keep their battlefield empty because it makes flick wisps a lot less good. We lost a flip, that's fine. We're gonna get another red sauce and try again. And neither of the creatures are good, but I think. Um, wait, did I accidentally click on my cork? No. But I think uh, just making top deck flicker was worse by killing the recruiter is worth it. Well, we didn't. <laughs> and then we just passed the turn. There's a lot of draws they could have that really, really mess with us, but... Yeah. Is this another Skyclave or a Flick Wisp? Flick Wisp, yeah. Oh, they hit the Skyclave. I'm happy with that. I'd much rather have them uh, do this than uh, get the Recruiter back. Since that makes sure they have more flick wisps, and flick wisps are good here. So. Mm. Now the question is whether I want to make sure that I'm resolving one of these before I crack, but I think I just really want to fail you. Now I can tap on blue for this and keep the carcass up. So. Um, Let's go there. And we're gonna copy this on either Recruiter or the Flick Wisp. I think the, uh, keeping the Recruiter around is more dangerous because it turns on other Flick Wisp, but if this Flick Wisp is better if they find the uh, equipment. But I don't think that's the biggest issue here. So just gonna take out the Recruiter to make future Flick Wisps worse. Now we get our 2 2 and just pass the turn with Carcass and potential bolt up. I'd really love to find, uh, since I have so much mana now, it would really be great for me to find um, the cantrips. That's me, that basically lets me convert my mana into cards, which I really need. And at that point, I'm also a lot, a lot less sad about this. Okay. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to let that resolve. Keep my bolt, try and kill both of them. 
hope they didn't top deck another flick always, but Dreadhard, also a great card to draw, of course. Is that the cards are always great? So now we also get to take out the spirit. And at this point, you just see what Quar can do. Did they draw another flick wisp? They didn't. Uh, now I feel fine just attacking him with this. Try and get some pressure going, and then we have to we play the Dread of Horde Quark combo, which is of course great since that lets us re return cards from our graveyard to our hand or double up on the Arcanist activation. So, yeah, we got a bit lucky by mana screwing our opponent here after their mulligans, but uh, um, the game taking so long because they were tight on mana already make uh, made Quark pretty good. Even despite like not really being uh, the optimal first creature to get into play, but so I like Blazing Volley here, of course, against uh, Mother of Runes and Talia, but also because well, both Quark and Dreadhorde make it kill the two toughness creatures. Um, I think Nerod got a lot worse against the, against the Texas now that uh, uh, Skyclave Apparition is uh, a card that that they that they have access to, so it's a bit risky to Nerod. Uh, they eat a vial and rely on that. Um, that being said, I still think it's worth to have this card in your deck. On the draw, I think I still like Dazes. I certainly gonna take out the Force of Negations and the Fluster Storm. I think I like trimming on Force of Will, despite being better on the draw than on the play, because you can snag a Eater vial. And then I think it's between days and not a force of will. And I'm gonna take out the force of will. I think days is just good enough uh, at hitting their two and three drops if they don't have a vial. So you can play an arcanist and counter their skyclave apparition, uh, by ex for example. And it's just really powerful. Despite being dead pretty quickly in this game. Our opponent mulligan to 6 again, it's always a good sign in a fair matchup like this, and we kept a, well, not not exciting, but a fine hand. Opponent starts on Mother of Runes, which is a real big issue for this hand, but uh, we can always top deck a Lightning Bolt. <laughs> I would love to be able to just run out the Delve here, but uh, I think a Mother of Runes is just such a big issue that we have to take it off the board here. So they get a Caracas, I assume Metalia is going down, no, Spirit, okay. Um, so I could keep up a Braid, I could run out to Delver, I think I like just running out to Delver here. Just try and get some pressure going, and if they attack, I think I just trade for the Spirit of the Labyrinth. Delver definitely isn't the most important uh, creature in our deck first attempt, so. There's their Talia. Yeah, I was gonna say I'm definitely blocking there. Brainstorm, yes. Now this is a bit tough because I want to kill both of those creatures. <laughs> They're both pretty good against me. Um, that being said, I can't really kill the Talia with their carcass open. And I have a lot of mana, so I, I, I'm just gonna have to accept that I'm playing through Talia in this game. They're gonna attack with both, I assume. I'm just gonna kill it now. I think my life uh, total is important enough here. Oh, yeah, of course. He's gonna get another basic because they have their wasteland, and I need my mana to play through Talia. So now they know I can't daze or force a will, but it's fine. I didn't have those anyway, so. Of 
recruiter of the guard. Let's see what that gets. He gets a flicker wisp. I maybe a skyclave. They were really uh, eager to get get out more skyclaves in game one. So Sanctum Predator. Definitely the most powerful card they can have against me. Oh, that was a good draw. I, I was hoping to find a Force of Will so I just, could just counter this. But uh, drawing the base and Brazen Borrower is very good here. I um, think I like brainstorming here now in my main phase. Just to see if we can get uh, something going like a Dread or the Canist. Um, I think I like my fifth land more than the third cantrip. So I'm gonna get rid of a preordain and then I think No, I'm gonna get rid of a land. So I can preordain this turn and then have Ponder Brainstorm and quite likely to find a land in the next turn cycle. I just want to spend my mana here, but I also want to try and dig for something like a wasteland so I can uh, kill their Caracas or something. Oh, Caracas of my own is also pretty good. I don't think I want to preordain, I really want to look for action. But I like having the Caracas. That just uh, ties up a lot of their mana into the, the Talia. And uh, frees me up a bit. Like spending this one land on bouncing that basically makes these two cheaper, so that's uh, pretty good. Yeah, I expect them to wasteland the volcanic here. Not ideal that they have two wastelands now. Yeah. Cards so good against me, but I have to try and tempo them. I think uh, try to get rid of that end of turn, then fire off all my cantrips, try to find burn spells, and try to brazen borrower plus burn style them out. Definitely just have to attack here then. And what I'm gonna do is just play the Carcass and say go. There's a chance, depending on what they do in their turn, they give me some more information. There's a chance I just just need to run out uh, my second Brazen Borer, since they cannot play Swords of Plowshares now. So if they don't play an equipment pre-combat, which is basically the, the way I lose a race, um, I can pretty much Guarantee that I win through their uh, what they have. So is it a replay? Ah, so they did have the equipment, and now it becomes an issue. Really uh, had to play by them, making sure sure they get rid of the Talia, and that means they have mana to eat and uh, equip. Now they should attack, uh, equip that. And now it gets really tough for me since I really have to get rid of the Sanctum Prelate. But also can't keep, can't really fight through a Yitta. So let's think here. If I bounce the uh, Yitta, um, I take 3 damage to 9. If I then top deck a Force of Will, or maybe a Daze if they don't draw another land, then. I get one attack in, attack in into eight, and then get another attack in also for three since I won't have, oh no, I will have the mana for Brazen Boar, so then I get an attack in for six, but then they hit with their Yitta. Uh, if I had the days instead of the thing, but yeah, I think that's a more reasonable win than try to bounce this cantrips to my one of a braid or no rod. Uh, since then I won't have pressure, this will die anyway, yeah. And I think bouncing the it uh, is more important here. The JIT, Omizawa's JIT, yeah, whatever it's called. 
So, hope to uh, top decker counter spell here. I didn't. Which means that uh, I might be uh, very screwed. <laughs> but I think this was more reasonable than to try and find a braid and still have to win through the predate that's coming uh, back down. But maybe this was just greedy. Definitely have to spend my mana here, even though it's just very dead anyway. So now they also kill that, and yeah, I don't think I have a way back into this game. Yeah, I think I like my, my lines in this game pretty well. Um, like I said, I think I had pretty good options. If they didn't have uh, equipment in their hand, I could just race them with Borrower and the Delver. But that did have made it uh, pretty rough. Just having to use the Braid. Did I have to use it? I ended up not casting any of my cantrips, but that uh, Spirit of the Labyrinth was also pretty bad for me. I'm just gonna keep it like this. Like, of course, in that game, I really want the Force of Will, but you can't uh, change it up because of one game. I'm gonna keep this. Uh, it's so blue heavy that only having the one blue land is really gonna punish me, but let's see if, uh, if we get there. Since this is just Delver, Cantrips, Counters, yeah. Seems a pretty good. I'm kinda. Slightly bummed that I lost a game uh, where they didn't have Aether file, since games where they don't have Aether file are usually pretty good for us. But they did open on the Mother of Runes, which is of course very good for them. Um, since I'm only using my blue mana next turn, most likely, I, I'm fine with dazing here. This hides the fact that I'm that my mana might not be that good, and it also doesn't change that much. Okay, now that I found a Scalding Tar, that uh, play is a bit less good, but... I'm definitely gonna bottom the land. The uh, question is, do I want to draw the Force of Will? I think I don't. Yeah. Most of my cards are just better than Force of Will, like either a Dread Arcanist, or a Lightning Bolt, or uh, even a Krark, or a Pyromancer. Uh, yeah, I, I don't want to play that game. Like this, this puts me down a lot of mana, but uh, being able to get rid of a Jitta for um, four days is just very powerful. So. Um, yeah, I definitely want to ponder here. I'm going to draw the Young Pyromancer and reveal one of these next turn. Um, I think I want my Brainstorm, so if they port me in the upkeep, I can always cast the Brainstorm, I think. Oh, that means my Young Pyromancer goes lower. Mm. So what if I draw the Brainstorm, then I can't play Young Pyromancer next turn. No, I really want the uh, value the option of casting your Pyromancer next turn if they don't uh, use the port. And that means I want to draw the Brainstorm next turn so I can play that when they port me on the turn after. Well, let's just hope they don't have the Sanctum Prelate, which is like the nemesis of this deck. Skyclave Apparition is fine. It's not great. I would love to have a 3 2 flyer, but yeah, it's, it's not. 
messing up my game as much as other cards would. Let's see if we can keep our young pyromancer around, which should obviously be very good. But a path to exile. Do I want to search or do I want the ponder? I think I'm fine with getting the land out here for free. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to lightning bolt that. Since our brainstorm is pretty important here in uh, getting something going again. Yeah. Our lightning bolt in the spirit and then uh, fetching away to fetch lands probably. We didn't find. Anything useful? Um, yeah, I'm not gonna fetch here. I like just saying like uh, fetching here might entice them to just use their wasteland now, which is a mistake because using your wasteland uh, at the end of your opponent's turn is bad. But I want to keep this if I have to lightning bolt something. Like maybe they have something that they uh, really want to get lightning bolted. Uh, I really want to lightning bolt this turn. Then it's just so bad not to have the red mana available. I think I force a will this. This basically just gets them the best card out of their deck and turns on all the future flicker wisps. So. To be going to fetch before I draw a card since there are two lands I don't want on top of my library. And we drew a wasteland. I I think we're just going to use that on their wasteland. Get them uh, off of a bit of mana. While also uh, having our cells stick, have more mana stick around, more colored sources. Now that I'm down to one red mana. I might just want to lightning bolt this. The thing is, like, if I find a Dreadlord Arcanist, uh, I'm gonna have to tap out of red anyway. And there's so many good cards they could have that the uh, lightning bolt doesn't even work against. So now they're gonna tap down my mountain probably. Let's see. Oh, that was great. Now you get to Wasteland their port. So we get our red mana and cut them off of a land. I think that might have been our best draw. Well, it, yeah, maybe. Like, I think uh, drawing an Arcanist is better since that makes our future draws better, but. Oh. Okay, never mind. And we have to keep in mind that we don't have any more wastelands in our deck with this build. We're very low on wastelands. We already have to hope they don't draw something, and especially not something that they can advantageously play while also porting us. <laughs> yeah. So we're definitely running out of Krark here. I think. Well, they can just Karakas it. Maybe we just keep it in, in our hand. Yeah, I think so. You can just play it if you find a cantrip and immediately try to copy it. Yeah, Spirit is annoying. We have a lot of outs to that, of course, but it's still annoying. Ooh, they didn't port us. Still want to keep up the cards. I think I'm going to keep my illusion back. I'd rather trade that for one of their cards and something else. And the question is now, I don't want to give him the information of that I have Krog. So I'm just going to run out to Delver and pass the turn. Yeah. 
do I attack here? So I get in one damage and then I'm forced to trade my Delver for their Spirit if they attack. No, I'm, I think it's better to give up one damage and still have them have that back. There's a path to exile. Well, the, we don't have anything to search anymore, sadly. But I'm not too sad of, of the, on that path there. There are a lot better cards that they could have and now uh, it frees up our like Arcanist draws a bit. So, so fine, we just really want to find an Arcanist. Yeah, let's just pass. Like there's some merit in trying to draw one card in their turn and then putting it back yeah, and there's, there's nothing there. Yeah, that works. Mm, the Karkas and Port, uh, mostly the Karkas and Spirit are already uh, putting their weight here. I hope they find something small. Mm. It kills our illusion. That's sad. Okay, now we just really, really, really want to find a uh, Blazing Volley. <laughs> it's easily our best card now. So we basically only have one drawn left. This is where it's going to become interesting if you draw a lightning bolt. <laughs> Since we... Uh... Oh. Okay, so it's, now it's really blazing fully or bust. We have two in our deck, so if we draw it, that's great. Mm. Do we have an instant that gets us out of here? I don't think so. Quark being legendary was really rough here, uh, but I didn't think the biggest problem was uh, was the spirit. Because if that wasn't there, then we just get to uh, brain, uh, copy our brainstorm even through a Karakas, and from there I think it's fine. But I'm just gonna see there, no, no reason to uh, make him go through that. So that uh, was kind of a rough round, the last one, but. Um, yeah, then Texas can be annoying for us. Um, we were somehow flooding out a bit while also not really having anything to do with the mana, which is, well, obviously what flooding out means, but yeah, we went 3-2. Not really happy with the last game. Uh, overall, the league went pretty fine. Uh, the quarks weren't stellar, but um, I think uh, there were a lot of games that I had quark. And they were actually pretty good, except that I didn't draw any of the cards that went well with it. But they were powerful in those spots, despite that. Um, in this last game, like I said, they had a Karkas, which made it a lot worse, since that means I can't just use it as a uh, 2 2 body. Um, but that wasn't the biggest issue. The Spirit of the Labyrinth mean meant that I couldn't copy my brainstorms that I. The, the brainstorm that I had with the Quark. Since if they didn't have that, or like a turn later, since that was the turn I got my Quark unlocked with the red mana, I get to copy that and uh, go from go from there. Then I probably have a lot of spells to play with it, but didn't get there. And uh, we went with a yeah, 
mediocre three and two. Um, this was the Blue Red Quark Delver League. I still think the the, the list I played is pretty okay. Um, yeah, catch you folks for the next time.